Thanks for checking out this nurse pack. Let's see what's included in this purchase. You will receive a fully rigged cartoon character with a facial rig, fingers, everything is moving. Even the props have bones, so if you want to animate those as well, they're gonna work great. You will also receive 10 medicine related assets. Also, it's not only rigged, but you will receive 45 custom poses. Uh, you can see some of them now. And you will also receive two custom loop animations. One is looping waving and the other one is pointing to the side loop. So two loop animations are also included. And the renders are super duper quick. 43 seconds in cycles and seven seconds in EV. So it's quick. And this is the wireframe. Pretty clean stuff. Uh, should not be laggy, super duper fast. Thank you for staying through through the intro. Now I'm gonna check out and show you what's included in this pack. But uh, I do just recommend going through the timestamps in the description to just check out the parts that are important uh, to you. So yeah, just check out the timestamps. So the character is made in 3.01, uh, but anything 3.0 should work. If you're using 3.10, it should be fine as well. Uh, to download Blender, it's pretty simple stuff. Just go on blender.org, go under downloads and uh, just download Blender. You can see this is the 3.1 version. Uh, the character still is gonna work fine, so good stuff. This is the part of the video where we'll check out the rig. It's uh, pretty cool. It's a rigify rig with some extra controllers. You can see we have extra controllers for the rig. We have a detailed uh, face rig and uh, you can of course enable extra layers for fingers and finger details. And uh, uh, basically you can do a lot of stuff. Also you can see the assets are rigged. They're pretty good looking as well. But in my case, I'll enable simplify because I'm on my laptop and it's going to make everything look a bit worse, but the speed is going to be a lot better. Anyways, we're checking out the rig. Uh, let's let's some, move some stuff around. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. Um, head. Well, basically, as you can see, the rig is pretty detailed. You can move the hair as well in case you want her to, I don't know, fly in the wind. Uh, I do look at the rig more in the custom creating a custom pose part of the video, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty. If you needed a quick uh, check in, it's a good rig. You will be able to create many cool stuff with it. Now we are at the changing poses part of the video. Uh, it's fairly simple, but there's a small thing that can go wrong, so just. Uh, Watch this through out so it doesn't happen to you. Anyways, to change your pose, simply select the character rig. You can see the rig being selected by this. This is the rig selected. You can see the square. It's an orange. That means this character's rig is selected. And then go on the left side. And for example, click on sitting sad. And you can see the poses will change. One thing that can go wrong in case you are in pose mode and you have this selected and then you change a pose. You can see as we change poses now, it does not work. So to combat this glitch, just make sure you right click on nothing. So you can see I'm pressing G, nothing is selected. So if nothing is selected and then we change poses, it's gonna work fine. So just make sure nothing is selected when you do this and it's great stuff. Oops. Uh, to export renders, very, very simple stuff. Go to the top left side, click on render image. In my case, I'm currently rendering it with Eevee, so it should take about seven seconds. The rigs, I mean, the renders are a slightly worse quality, but in my case, it's gonna work. We can see our character, all is epic. Just to save the image, just go under image, save as, and shabam, you can just save the image and it's gonna be great and you can use whatever you want. 
now we're gonna create a custom pose choose if you want to create a custom pose with or without the prop in my case i'll create it with a prop so i'll select the rig click on default with props and just enable that we'll have all of the props visible um, choose which prop you want in my case i will choose this pill so i'll go into pose mode i'll select it i'll move it up and now we're gonna just select all of the other bones and just hide them from the camera view by pressing G and C and then with this as well G Z G Z um, yeah and now we're gonna move the pill where we want it to be so like this I'm pressing G X to move it on the X axis um, what's our pose let's say it's laying down and she's gonna put her leg on it or whatever RZ90 to rotate it on the 90 degrees cool stuff let me move it like this she's gonna put her feet up so we're gonna select the feet and like that so she's gonna maybe let's make her float a tiny bit GX to move it on the X axis you can see the knee gets weird just to control the knee select this thingy and just move it to be correct Let's make her smile a tiny bit, because smiling is always great. And then open it up. I think it looks all right. Not the best. Let us see how it looks. Well, it's not the best, but uh, it's going to serve our purpose. I did it fairly quickly. Um, if uh, if you want more details on how to create rigs, you can check out the other tutorials as well. But this will serve for our purpose. Uh, great stuff. Congrats, you just created your own custom pose. Now you want to save it. Uh, to not lose with everything you, had, you just did, please make sure you pay a detention. Because you can lose all the progress you made if you make a mistake. Great build up, very scary. Uh, the thing you need to make sure you do not do is make sure you have nothing selected before you go to an object mode. So if I press object mode, for example, you go in pose mode, I select this and I press G, you can see it moves. Just make sure you have nothing selected and if I press G, you can see nothing moves. So that means none of the rig layers are selected and you will be able to save your pose. So just go into object, uh, so stay in pose mode, click on plus, add new save your pose name it 46 for some reason so we have our pose 46 great pose we have it named all is great we go back into object mode we switch to a different pose so holding tablet thingy great and then we go into the, our custom pose great great pose and you can see it works great so that's great Thanks for checking out this pack. If you want it, you can check out the links in the description and buy it. If you don't, don't. It's all up to you. And uh, yeah, bye.